Hey Fishers, we've got some great reports flowing in from all over the place at the moment. This is a fantastic time of year to fish, not too hot, conditions are right for most fishing. Now I'll start off down in uh, Victoria, uh, if you go down there and don't catch fish, blame Moso at uh, Complete Angle at Lavington because he tells me it's pretty crash hot down there at the moment. So we're getting some really, really good fish. Um, he tells me the dart now starting to fire up and I don't doubt that at all because it's starting to cool down a bit of an evening and the fish are getting close to the surface again. A lot of blokes are starting to troll them there. The reg down below darts fishing really well. All the streams, absolute dynamite down there. Now we had a bit of rain. Uh, uh, over the last couple of days but it only takes a day or so for those to clear up so it should be pretty well spot on for the weekend I'd be really keen to get down there and flick a few flies around so it's certainly worth the effort at the moment Hume Weir Good numbers of redfin, all but small, but uh, good numbers of them. Uh, you'll get a feed if you hunt around enough. Some good numbers of yellow belly and the occasional good cod coming out of it. So it's a pretty hot place to fish. Mawala, very special at the moment. A lot of fish coming out of there. Not a lot of monster fish, but certainly some good 600, 700, 750s, that sort of thing coming out. And reasonably consistent there as well. So we're really pleased with that. So you'll find there's a fair bit of activity around. Uh, when you get into this area, Murrumbidgee River, tremendous amounts of fish in the river at the moment. You'll get a lot of good cod. A few yellow bellies sneaking around, but the cod there in big numbers. Bait fishing, lure fishing. Now that little bit of rain we had will colour it up a little bit, but certainly not too dirty to bait fish or lure fish. So keep that one in mind. Got a few reports from Blowering. Uh, the cod have been a little bit on the slow side. There's a few getting caught, but a bit slow. Yellow belly a bit on the slow side as well. But the redfin, going crazy. Some people are going up and not getting any results, but look, you've got to look around and find them. They're not just going to jump in your boat, uh, but they are getting some good numbers and some very good size ready. So we're really pleased with that. Little atomic yabbies, one and a half inch yabbies, squidgy green grunters, 65 mil, absolutely critical. No bigger, have to be a 65 mil with a three or a five gram jig get Pretty good fishing up there. Barrenjuk, uh, it's been a bit patchy over the last week or so, been some harsh conditions, blowy and all that sort of stuff, but you get a good day up there, a bit of a ripple on the surface, you'll get some good yellows without any trouble, you'll pick up a lot of redfin, no doubt about that, and you'll pick up a few cod as well, so as you can see, a bit of activity there, Wyangla, still getting good reports from Wyangla, very happy with that, and as it, as it goes with our top dams, our Yukonbean, Tatangra, Jindabyne, some pretty special fishing at Tantangra still. Almost every weekend somebody comes back telling me they've had a great time up there. And even through the week, it's fantastic fishing at Tantangra. It'll go off sooner or later, but while it's on, get up there and get stuck into it. You can be slayed a little bit, but they are still getting some nice fish out of it without too much trouble. All the streams, the Tumut River is low enough to fish. All the streams in New South Wales that I know of or in our area are fishing exceptionally well for trout, so you're going to have a great run. Well, this is the Complete English Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.